as well. It will resign on that piece of paper and live as it is on that piece of paper in your imagination. And it will really go beyond there. And then imagine the next huge hurdle of working on something like Avatar, where there's about $300 million thrown at that sketch, and it's brought to life by artists who have skills that you can only imagine of having, at least in my case. And it has the horsepower of somebody like James Cameron, and a tremendous art department on the state side and at Weta, for example. And they bring your ideas to life. And quite frankly, they make you, as an artist, relevant within what it is that they put onto the film. And then the success of that film, um, in the case of Avatar, <coughs> like it or not, it was a huge, ridiculous success. And it is because people, it resonated. That's one of Jim's many gifts. He knows how to, to hit the mark. That makes you relevant, having been involved. Ergo, it is a huge privilege to be a part of this industry where I get to contribute ideas, and I get to have people educate me and elevate me as an artist, as a designer, and quite frankly, as a person. When you're working on such a massive freight train of uh, these tenfold films. There's a piece in the corner where the video's going on. There's a crazy alien with a hot dog in his hand. <laughs> I, I really wanted that to be here because it kind of represents, and you're not going to get it from that, but it represents the collaborative uh, nature of working in these um, entertainment franchises. That's Men in Black, The Rock, not film. I had the opportunity, I was living in Switzerland, teaching at the Art Center campus in Switzerland, and I moved back from being there for almost a couple years. I say that because I was off the radar came back, nobody knew who I was. I really wanted to work in film. You can't just do that. You can't just come back with your portfolio and say, okay, where does Jim live? Because I'm going to show him. Portfolio's in the is going to be great. So it was really difficult to get any attention at all because I wasn't known. Having taught at the Art Center via relationships, I was given the opportunity to work on this ride, Men in Black, the ride, Alien Attack, which is in Florida. And because of my experience as a medical product industrial designer, having developed wheelchairs, they said, hey, you know how to make a wheelchair work on a vehicle, so we're going to give you the vehicle. I said, I'll do the vehicle, but I'll give you some creatures, because I just would love to be a creature. <laughs> and they said, yeah, okay, get the vehicle going, we'll see how it goes. The vehicle went well. They said, we're going to give you some creatures, but you're going to need help, because we're going to give pretty much all of them to you, to your student. And the help was the one guy that they had kind of sketching away at Universal Studios. They say, you cool with having this guy come to your place? I said, sure, anyway, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so Carlos Swante was my first employee at my studio. And if you don't know who Carlos is, you need to look him up immediately. <laughs> um, phenomenal designer. I mean, I recognized him as being fantastic, but I had no reference point because I was not a creature designer. I was really an industrial designer aspiring and hoping, dreaming of doing creature work. So. Carlos comes in, and we realize we need a bit more help. So Carlos says, I have a buddy, Jose Fernandez. <laughs> if he's good, great, bring him in. I trust your judgment. Jose Fernandez, if you don't know him, you got to look him up. He's phenomenal. Jose's company built the um, Tron helmets, all the Tron helmets. Uh, creature design, but clearly capable of doing other things. Um, because of design is design. Anyhow, from that... We needed a few more people. I said, we got this other guy who's a sculptor, designer, Jordan Michel. I said, Jordan Michel, we're a game And Jim Cagle, Brian Wade, just all these people. And again, I don't know any of these people, but they're all in my studio working on creatures. So imagine you want to be a creature designer, and you don't have, quote, unquote, the education to be that. And you've got people like Jose, Carlos, the busting out the prism color. <laughs> what kind of clay is that? Uh, you know, I, I learned how to make my clay sculpting through tools from Jose. I mean, I really did. He sat down with me and walked me through the steps. Carlos showed me how to hold a pencil, literally. Um, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I am starting to be able to draw things and sculpt things and do what I dreamed of. All the I look back at some of the stuff I was doing. It wasn't so good. But the hot dog car. Um, collaboratively designed with myself and Carlos. 
sculpted by Jose and myself, painted by, well, I should go in the process, uh, molded by um, Freitas, Rob Freitas, I'm trying to think of the other guy, I can't remember. But Rob Freitas is an amazing mold maker. If you know anything about mold making, it is a critical craft. You've got a soft, wet clay, or water-based clay, sculpt, and you give it to somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. So mold making, massively important, and a uh, very talented guy doing that. Then fabricated fiberglass painted by Tim Gore. You guys know Tim Gore, look at him as well. So I had these incredible people that set the tone for me. So they're not here, but if I could somehow say to them, thank you so much for giving me the education and affording me the, the tools to allow me to do what I do now. So um, it's kind of like asking for a moment of silence, but if you don't mind, just a round of applause for all the <laughs> students here this evening, a lot of um, faculty, and a lot of people who are aspiring to do this. They're asking questions, how do I get in the business? And it's it's not an easy answer, uh, because there is no clear path, at least to get into film, that I know of. Um, just know that the people that you're surrounded by right now are the people that you will collaborate with, are the people that will um, inspire if it isn't already happening can only imagine that it is. This is the community, and the community that Alex Alvarez has created, which um, is phenomenal. It, I don't know if it should have worked out on paper, the concept, but it has worked out way better than I could have imagined, that Alex has not only created an amazing community of artists, just as bros that like to draw and paint, and we need to apologize, maybe, together. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but that, in addition to the Noman workshop, the, the DVDs, what that has done to, not certain individuals, but the freaking planet, in terms of artists who want to know this stuff. Um, I, I applaud Alex and his willingness, uh, vision first, to share the wealth, willingness to share the wealth, and for those instructors who have also jumped on board and been willing to share every single thing they know, every bit of knowledge that they because that is what advances the community and makes us, as a community, better, better as artists, um, more employable, um, and more useful to our clients. Um, so, Alex, a round of applause to you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 